the defense deal is making all the buzz, but there's another sector where the US and India are cooperating, and that's semiconductors or chips. They're often called the oil of the 21st century, the key to global domination. So it's no surprise that chips are a contested asset. The US and China are both trying to dominate this market. They're locked in what's called a chip war. As of today, Washington is leading the race, but China is catching up fast. Where does that leave India? Well, at a vantage point, we say. As a credible alternative to China and a reliable partner for the world, the US wants to move away from China. It wants to make sure that Beijing doesn't get critical technology. It wants to build semiconductors with like-minded countries, aka India. This is called friend shoring. Offshoring with friendly countries. That's friend shoring for you. And this is a big opportunity for India. Because irrespective of what the US wants, India has been pushing itself as an alternative to China. India does not have native semiconductor firms, so it's trying to woo foreign giants. And part of this push is a $10 billion incentive plan. It is aimed at boosting semiconductor manufacturing. And this works well for the US as well. America can support India as it tries to weaken China's chip industry. Again, this looks like a natural fit, and they've been at it for a while. In September last year, the Quad took up this issue. They moved to secure semiconductor supply chains. The Quad, as you know, is a member of four is a group rather of four countries, four members: India, America, Japan, and Australia. And in March this year, an MOU was signed. A memorandum of understanding was signed. It was signed between India and the US. This was to establish a semiconductor supply chain. Reports say India has now cleared a $2.7 billion micron chip testing plant. Micron is a major chip company in America. They will set up a plant in India. And this came just ahead of Prime Minister Modi's state visit. The plan is to set up a semiconductor testing and packaging unit. It will be built in the state of Gujarat. India has promised production-linked incentives. We're talking about incentives worth $1.34 billion. Remember, this is the same Micron, the same company, that China has recently banned. Washington is asking American firms to invest in India and to move away from China. And the Micron plant is a good start. But this unit will only test and pack semiconductor chips. It won't make in India. New Delhi will have to aim for that, for making in India. For India to dominate the chip market, it will have to manufacture chips. Currently, the chip global supply chain is complicated. Chips are designed in the United States, they're manufactured in Taiwan and South Korea, and then they're assembled in China. If India wants to become a key player, it will have to move fast. It will have to ramp up manufacturing. The plans are already in place. India will get its first semiconductor plant in Gujarat. It is being built by Taiwan-based Foxconn and India's Vedanta. Similarly, ISMC Digital is planning to build a $3 billion fabrication plant. This will be located in the state of Karnataka. So India has the potential to become a key manufacturer if things move in the same direction and at the same pace. India could achieve that in three to four years. And then it should start work on the next step. Dream bigger. Think about chip design. As of today, it sounds like a long shot. But remember, India has exceptional talent pool. 20% of the world's semiconductor design engineers are from India. The government has launched a chip design center. The idea is to encourage a chip design ecosystem in India with or without American support.